Ever thought about how you'd fare in an emergency situation at home? That's a question we often overlook, but it's crucial to consider. This is where the concept of bugging in comes into play. Bugging in, in contrast to bugging out, is all about fortifying your own home and staying put during emergencies. Let's imagine for a moment, maybe there's a natural disaster on the horizon like a hurricane, a flood, or even an earthquake. Or perhaps it's a pandemic that's sweeping across the globe, causing cities to go into lockdown. In these scenarios, the safest place might just be your own home. But to truly be safe, you need to be prepared. Preparedness is not just about having a stocked pantry or a first aid kit, though those are important. It's about having a plan, a strategy for how to stay safe, healthy, and self-reliant when the world around you is anything but. It's about understanding the risks, knowing your options, and making informed decisions. Let's delve a little deeper into this. Imagine a power outage that lasts for days or even weeks. How will you keep the lights on, the food cold, and the water hot? Or let's say there's a disruption in the water supply. Do you have a plan for how you'll stay hydrated and maintain sanitation? And in the event of a pandemic, do you know how to keep yourself and your loved ones safe from contagion while cooped up indoors? These are the kinds of questions we'll be exploring in this series. We'll be discussing everything from water purification and food storage to home fortification and alternative communication methods. We want to equip you with the knowledge and skills to not just survive, but thrive in any situation. And remember, being prepared isn't about living in fear. It's about taking control of your own safety and security. It's about being proactive, not reactive. Because at the end of the day, being prepared allows you to maintain control in situations where you would otherwise feel helpless. Ever wondered why it's crucial to be prepared for emergencies? Well, let's dig into that a bit, shall we? Did you know that on average there are approximately 300 natural disasters reported globally every year? These range from hurricanes, wildfires, to earthquakes. And the unfortunate reality is that they leave millions of people displaced, with their lives upended. But what if I told you that a significant number of those affected could have mitigated their circumstances with a bit of forethought and preparation? Take Hurricane Katrina, for instance. It was one of the deadliest hurricanes the United States has ever seen, and it taught us a lot about the importance of preparedness. There were countless stories of individuals who despite the chaos managed to stay relatively safe because they had a plan. They had stocked up on essential supplies, fortified their homes, and knew exactly what to do when disaster struck. Their foresight didn't just keep them safe, it also gave them a sense of control in a situation where control seemed non-existent. But preparedness isn't just about bracing ourselves for natural disasters. It's also about being ready for man-made crises like power outages, pandemics, or even social unrest. The COVID-19 pandemic, for instance, caught many off guard. But those who had prepared were able to weather the initial wave of panic buying and lockdowns with less stress and more resilience. And that's just it. Preparedness is not just about survival, it's about maintaining dignity and control in the face of adversity. It's about being able to protect yourself and your loved ones when the systems we've come to rely on falter or fail. Being prepared doesn't mean you're expecting the worst. It means you're ready to face whatever comes your way with courage and calm. It means you're not just a passive victim of circumstances, but an active participant in your own survival. So let's roll up our sleeves and delve into the world of bugging in, shall we? After all, preparedness is not just about survival. It's about maintaining dignity and control in the face of adversity. Ready to embark on a journey towards self-reliance? Welcome to our comprehensive survival series, Bugging In. This series is designed to help you prepare for a wide range of emergencies and to ensure your safety and self-sufficiency right at home. We'll cover a broad scope of topics, each one vital to your survival and resilience. First on our list is water purification and storage. We'll delve into the importance of securing a clean water supply, from filtering techniques to storage solutions. Water is life, and ensuring its purity and availability is paramount. Next, we'll explore food storage and preservation. Learn how to extend the shelf life of your provisions, from canning and drying to freezing. A well-stocked pantry can be your lifeline in times of crisis. Our third topic is power generation and energy storage. We'll discuss sustainable power sources like solar panels and wind turbines. We'll also cover battery storage and other means to keep your lights on when the grid goes down. Home fortification and security is our fourth focus. Here we'll talk about fortifying your home against intruders and potential threats. 
Your home is your fortress. Let's make sure it's a sturdy one. Our fifth episode tackles first aid and emergency medical care. We'll teach you essential healthcare skills from treating wounds to managing illnesses. When help isn't on the way, you'll know how to step up. Next, we'll go over communication without internet. In our digital age, losing internet can feel like losing a lifeline. We'll explore alternative communication methods to keep you connected when the web isn't an option. Our seventh topic is psychological readiness and stress management. Maintaining mental health during emergencies is just as important as physical health. We'll provide strategies for managing stress and staying mentally resilient. Surviving natural disasters is next on our list. We'll discuss tailoring your plans to specific natural events, from earthquakes to hurricanes. Knowing what to expect can make all the difference. Pandemic preparedness follows with strategies for health preservation and isolation. We've all learned how crucial this knowledge can be. We'll then delve into economic collapse and social unrest. We'll guide you through navigating financial crises and managing during periods of societal instability. Our penultimate topic is urban gardening and food sources. We'll teach you how to grow your own food, regardless of your living situation. You'll learn that a green thumb can be a survivalist's best friend. Finally, we'll cover DIY repairs and maintenance, equipping you with basic home repair skills. When something breaks, you'll know how to fix it. Each episode in this series will equip you with the knowledge and skills to face any emergency with confidence. So, let's get ready, and let's get resilient. Curious about what this series has in store for you? Well, the journey we're about to embark on is not just about learning new skills, it's about adopting a mindset. A mindset of preparedness, resilience, and self-reliance. We're going to encourage you to take a good, hard look at your current state of readiness. It's time to ask yourself some tough questions. Are you ready to weather a storm? Can you hold your own when the lights go out? Throughout this series, we'll be providing practical steps and initiating discussions to help you answer these questions with a confident yes. We encourage you to engage, to question, and to learn because every bit of knowledge gained brings you one step closer to self-reliance. And remember, this series is for everyone, regardless of where you call home. From the city apartment to the country homestead, preparedness knows no boundaries. Together, we can turn uncertainty into preparedness. So, are you ready to take control of your safety and survival? It's been an enlightening journey today, exploring the concept of bugging in and the importance of preparedness. We've barely scratched the surface, but the groundwork has been laid. The journey towards self-reliance and survival is one of constant learning, adaptation, and resilience. It's about taking control of your life, being proactive rather than reactive. In the coming episodes, we're going to delve deeper into each topic, offering practical steps, advice, and discussions that will empower you to take control of your safety and survival. We'll explore water purification, food storage, power generation, home fortification, and much more. Each episode is a step further into the world of preparedness, a step closer to self-reliance. Remember, your support is what fuels this journey. By subscribing and engaging with the content, you're not just supporting the channel, but you're helping to spread this vital knowledge further. Each comment, each share, each like helps someone else discover the power of preparedness. For those of you who are eager to dive deeper into the world of survival and preparedness, there's a brilliant resource that I'd like to recommend. The Ultimate Grid Down Survival Handbook, available on Amazon, is an incredible guide that offers comprehensive guidance on everything you need to know about survival. It's a fantastic companion to our series and a valuable addition to any survivalist library. In conclusion, thank you for joining us. Your time, your interest, and your engagement are what make this journey worthwhile. We're in this together, learning, preparing, and facing whatever the future may hold with courage and resilience. Remember, the key to survival is preparedness. Stay safe and prepare to thrive.